Typhoid fever doesn't start with a bite or a sneeze. It starts with what you eat. The culprit is Salmonella typhi that's transmitted fecal orally through contaminated food and water, especially in regions with poor sanitation. It's a stepwise fever that climbs over days and you get rashes of rose spots and a slow pulse. So the pathogen hides in your macrophages and it spreads silently into the gut. And so it sneaks in your dinner. Here's a man in our practice question with sustained fever, rose spots, bradycardia, GI symptoms, goes to Southeast Asia, anemia, leukopenia. What's the most likely route of transition or transmission? Fecal oral. Seminal typhi. Trap answers, mosquito bite, malaria, dengue. That causes tachycardia, not bradycardia. Sexual contact, syphilis, HIV. is what you should think of, not seminal. It's through fecal oral food. Aerosol droplets, Neisseria meningitis, influenza. Blood exposure, hepatitis B and C, not HIV. Or excuse me, and, and HIV, not typhoid. So the big problem here, here are key features, is contaminated food and water. It's the fecal oral route. And the symptoms by week are interesting. You have a rising fever, abdominal pain, rose spots, and then hepatosplenomegaly and intestinal bleeding. Leukopenia, anemia, common in Southeast Asia, Africa, and Latin America. And the virulence factor is that VI cap capsular antigen that prevents your macrophage from killing. If this is helpful, then like and subscribe.